Formula 3 is underway. Poor getaway for Ben Fiskell. That's going to promote Liam Lawson immediately, but Belloc hangs on to the lead ahead of Fittipaldi and trying to come out of the wheel tracks. Zendeli immediately contending down to the inside. Zendeli outbreaks both of them. Zendeli takes the lead. Fittipaldi's going up to second position. Will they all manage to get through? Yes, they will. So Belloc from pole position down to third as they scrap their way through Curva Grande with Hughes going side by side with Lawson. That is in the battle for fourth position. It belongs to Hughes at the moment. And uh, someone's kicking up the dirt through there. Zendeli versus Fittipaldi in the back row. And we've got a car off the road one of the uh, MP Motorsport cars was off the road in the background there as they all go sour by side through. Zendeli taking the lead after starting in fourth. Right now, Lawson's trying to go around the outside of Jake Hughes, and that is a really lovely move from Liam Lawson to improve to the podium places with the top two still scrapping. Fittipaldi unable to make an impression on Zendeli, and now Lawson looking for a better result than yesterday up to P3. Lovely move from Lawson down the outside. Not seen much DRS yet, have we? This time, Fittipaldi's got his best run of the race so far. Trying to go around the outside and taking the lead. Enzo Fittipaldi finds his way through. Look at this, four-car battle for the lead and locking up and keeping P1 contact there. Tire to real uh, to front wing and uh, up to, well, keeping third is Liam Lawson, but it's getting frantic now. Fittipaldi has the race lead and he just appears to have got away with that one. Just a tiny... Oh, no, he's got a puncher, he hasn't got away with it. He hasn't got away with it. That contact's given Enzo Fittipaldi a puncher and now Liam Lawson is contending for the lead. The lead changing corner by corner here and up to first position goes Liam Lawson past the rim Zendeli. This was a replay of turn number one. And this is the contact then, just that tiny contact. That is Zendeli going deep into turn one. He got past uh, Lawson, uh, but Lawson now retakes the position. Hughes goes through as well. Piastri is up to third place, but he's got his teammate for company in the Prima, closing in. Vesti with so much more speed, and there's the tyre carcass from Fittipaldi all over the road. So that's all sorts of debris for them to deal with. Vesti got the position, though, and he's up to third. Would you believe it? We've got another battle for the lead. And a new race leader, have we, momentarily? It was Hughes. He's got the inside line, and Jake Hughes. The, oh, round goes the championship leader. Round goes the championship leader. Oscar Piastri involved in that. And the pendulum swings again in the points battle because the Australian's off the road, along with Clement Novelak and two other drivers as well. And he's out. The championship leader is out of the race. Right into the first chicane will be the move that takes him to third. But Vesti understandably knows that his rival has to think about the championship. How late on the brakes can Logan Sargent be? Checking the mirrors. Where is he? Where is he? He's down the inside, Logan. Into the second chicane and putting Sargent back to fifth. Great recovery from Zendeli here from the gravel up to third position. He's regrouped really nicely. Now, can Sargent move up? It doesn't matter how he gets to that position this time. Oh, no, he's hit him. He's hit him. Is that a puncher? He's into the gravel. Logan Sargent goes off the road, and they've been threatening to do that for the last few laps. It's finally happened. Logan Sargent with such an opportunity, and he's dropping out of the points. Best he's got a damaged front wing. Here's Teo Porcher, who at one point was 17th in this race. He's now on to the podium, getting past Lorim Zendeli. It's Jake Hughes who comes across the line to win at Monza. His third FIA Formula 3 win, Lawson in second place. Well done, mate. Well done. Well done. That's it, boys. That's it. Oh, that was good. Cheers, boys. Cheers. It has been a brilliant race here in Monza, and we have an incredible championship finale to come your way in one week's time at Mugello. We will see you next week when F3 returns.